Hey everyone, this is Matt from the Bronco Nation. We're out here today with Brent, who is the Director of Advertising and Events from Four Wheel Parts, and he's gonna be showing us around this pretty sweet, decked out Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of aftermarket bits and pieces on here. So Brent, go ahead and take it away and show us Thanks, what Matt. this yeah. vehicle has. We, uh, we at Four Wheel Parts have, have built quite a sport. We want everybody to check it out. So we can start up here in the front. Let's, we can do the suspension first. Matt, does that sound good? Sounds good. So we'll start with the suspension. Um, you can see it's lifted, has bigger tires. So we did a one inch lift, it's a spacer lift um, from Four Parts Factory on the front. Um, and then on the, the tire size, we went 245, uh, 70, 17. So a bigger tire than you'd expect on this rig. It doesn't rub at all. And we went 17 inch race line wheels. So we went with the black wheels, really, really good. And kind of the, uh, what do you call it, fake bead locks, but they're, you know, they look great, they pulled apart, but really turned out great. And it's a Badlands edition, as you mentioned, so uh, gives it that more stocky look. So if I look down underneath here, it looks like we have a, a pretty beefy skid plate. Uh, can you tell us about that, what you guys have added? You got it. So uh, we wanted to figure out what we would do. There's not a ton of ground clearance on it, but it, you know, it's got a great stance, but we needed to do something to protect underneath. So we did a billet aluminum skid plate, uh, laser cut the 4WP logo into the front. And as you can see, it goes past, it goes pretty far under the car, the major components that could get damaged. So nice, thick aluminum will do the job. And that way you'll slide right over those rocks through the brush, whatever you need, and not worry about you know, damaging your Bronco at all. We've also got a full length slider bar that we made at Four Wheel Parts Factory. So when you're sliding over those rocks, sliding over anything, it protects the side. You know, it might even help with some of those grocery carts at the grocery store from uh, grandma's cart hitting you, but um, powder coated, hooked to all existing holes, pinch welds and stuff that are already come on the Bronco. So nice, easy installation um, and full length. So you get full protection on your Bronco. So we've seen tents on the full size Bronco before and we've we've seen the awning on the Sport but can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on because obviously it's it's kind of expanded we've got a lot going on here so yeah there, there's a lot going on and overlanding as you know right now is all the rage everyone wants to go camping or car camping and this is the perfect vehicle to do that in with the family so we came out with a from so this is a, an awning from Smitty built um, one person can set it up very easily Gives you 10 foot of awning out here. Also has a mesh room that will hook to it if needed. So you can stay inside from the bugs and put your chairs in there and not get eaten alive. Um, folds away very nicely with a nice bag, zips right up. And the great thing is it, it bolts right up to the factory Bronco rack from the factory. So nice and clean setup. So to go with that Smitty Bill awning, they've also came out with a great tent. Now they've got various sizes, uh, standard and XL. This is a standard tent. So two people is what it's recommended for. Has all your rain flies, it also bolts right to the factory Bronco rack. So super easy installation right out of the box. It'll bolt right to your Bronco in a matter of an hour uh, or so. But uh, waterproof tent, comes with the ladder, comes with LED lighting inside, plugs right into your phone. So that powers the LED lights and the LED lights take no juice. Your phone will have no problem uh, doing that. A very nice updated mattress pad inside. And of course it has rain flies and bug screens. So all the nasty stuff that could happen out there in the weather, you're protected from with this Smitty built tent. So when we look at the top of the vehicle there, we see lights on the front and also on the side. So can you tell us a little bit about those lights? Are there something that comes from the factory or is that what you guys offer? Well, it's something we actually came up with and yeah, we offer the, the light bar, the lights we've gotten and you see the lights, they're from Rigid. Um, on the front, we did the four inch rounds. On the side, we did their square cubes. So of course the sides are for when you're over here in your tent, you need some light or camping on your table. Turn those side lights on nice and easy. Take no juice with the LED. On the front, when you're off-roading, um, you need to light it up or to get to your, your camp spot. You've got four great four inch lights uh, that will get you there. We also built this custom platform for the lights to mount to. So it uses, again, the Ford existing rack, bolts right in between nice and clean. And then it holds your four lights or light bar, whatever you want. And that's from Four Wheel Parts Factory also. So making our way to the rear, you know, obviously you've added this, this tire onto the rear of the Sport and it doesn't normally come with the tire on the rear. Um, I think this looks great. Can you tell us about this? Is that something that you guys have put together to offer to customers or, you know, can they get this? What is it? It, it was a great, you know, it's a great question because obviously we don't have a spare tire with the oversized tires. There was nowhere inside to carry. We didn't want to have this flopping along inside and hurt someone or just be loose to take storage area. So we came up with a solution. And so this, this rack for, your, uh, for the tire goes right into the hitch. Um, and again, you pull this pin, pull it right out. You can still open the back, nice, clean, 
Um, put in some anti-rattle device right there, some plastic. Uh, <laughs> And that way it holds your, your, your aftermarket tire. You have no issues. Um, and you can get in the back and get to your stuff. Awesome. That's, that's, that's great. I think this looks really cool. And it's cool that you've kind of designed it that it can open up like that um, to access the inside. Yeah, I think so. the next generation, we're going to probably do a table on here or we'll make it so you can put your bikes or skis, that kind of stuff. Um, but this is actually designed for this vehicle and swings out of the way completely. Won't hit the side and you can open the door. I think it's great. Let us know what you think about this. If you want to see that offered uh, for your Bronco Sport, I know if you know if I had a Sport, I definitely would um, want that. So, I think now we can go ahead and jump into the inside and uh, look at some of the things that you guys have done in the rear of the vehicle. Yeah, we, we definitely wanted to complement what we've done on the outside. So let's take a look in the back. So we didn't need to do any lighting back here. Factory Ford actually does lights, and there's a switch on the inside here. So it lights up, you can see what you're doing, so we didn't need to address any time there. But we hit the major concerns uh, that you would have when you were out overlanding or camping. So, of course, we put a fridge freezer. This is from Smittybilt also. Um, draws very little amperage, plugs right into the factory port that's already in the Bronco. So super nice. Uh, it's, it's just plug and play. Just plug just and play. play and so we awesome. did build the, the tray. This is for all your different camping gear on the bottom, and this sits in nice so it won't hurt anyone it won't go anywhere it's going to stay upright so um going if you're going to go off road you need to have your bag so this is your accessories has your snatch block toe straps all your tools and everything and nice uh, nice bronco emblem in there got, got the logo that's what <laughs> <Yep>. you want <laughs> so we can go a little farther in so we did build this custom rack now this is going to we'll show you some gear that goes in here a little later but on the side has an axe, so any wood, any if you've got to chop any wood, if you get stuck or you need to do, you've got your, your tools bolted here securely, no one's going to get hurt. Uh, a shovel on the top, also mounted, also in a nice Bronco bag for the shovel. I mean, really, the devil's in the yeah, details. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to use the shovel. It looks good. Um, then we did some air solve. So if you get a flat tire or you air down, which we, of course, recommend off-road, you can air right back up with that Smitty Built Comp Air. That'll bring you right back up, no problem. Hose tucks in right over here really nicely. Uh, on top here of the case, this is your mesh room for the, for the awning over here. So that way you get from the bugs. And we also do an annex that goes underneath. So you have a solid sealed room with the floor on this side. You can come down the ladder, stay dry, sit inside, and you're never going to touch the dirt. You know, and you, you get up in the morning, got your pajamas on. That's nice. You guys, you guys made it for people who would be out here and actually in this environment. Um, so I think that's that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's something I mean we we camp a lot We love this stuff and this is what we would do to our vehicles So and as you'll see we have a lot of gear that slides right in your stove your pot your pans um, And your table slides right in so you're set that's cool. You just got to grab the dog and you're ready Are these all things that you offer like to a customer like can someone go and buy this from four wheel parts right now? All of these accessories are in stock right now. You can get them from any of the 95 stores um, the racks and the, you can see the laser cut 4WP and everything in this was built for this vehicle and we're waiting to see the feedback. So if people like this stuff, we're going to offer them to the customers. That's the whole idea with these nice test vehicles. See what the crowds want, see what people want to buy and get set up. Cool. Well, let us know what you guys think. Uh, let them know what you want to see for your Bronco Sport. Uh, there's a lot of different options, a lot of different things, um, a lot of accessories. And so, um, yeah, I know it's, it's exciting to, to see people modifying them for their overlanding adventures. Yeah, there's no end of accessories and it, you're really starting with a great platform and we just added to it. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the front of the interior now and show us some of the things that you have in there. Sounds good. So on the interior, it's already really nice. They did a great job on the Badlands interior. The Bronco logos everywhere. The seats have it stitched in. It's really clean and we didn't want to lose that clean look. So we needed to add switches though to turn on the lights and traditionally light switches aren't the most uh, physically appearing, you know, great thing. So we went and add these, this nice pro comp uh, switch in here and it's all touch. You can see you touch it, it'll turn on the lights, turns color, keeps the vehicle interior nice and clean um, and very easy to activate your lights and off-road accessories. And again, Badlands Bronco has the go mode, the interior's, you know, really set up already. It's just an addition that, that keeps it nice and clean. Well, Brent, thank you so much for walking us around this Bronco Sport Badlands. Uh, I think it's pretty cool to see a lot of these accessories that you guys have to offer on it. Um, can you tell us, you know, where can we find these accessories? I know the sport's out. I see a lot of them around town. Can people buy these? If so, where do they buy them? 
Well, the, the Bronco Sports are out. You can definitely go to your local Ford dealer, order one, or, or probably pick one up. Some do have them in stock. And, you know, I really appreciate the time we got to do to, to build this one. The Bronco Sport customer is different customer than the Bronco customer. So it's a different look, different platform. Hope everyone enjoyed it. And you can go to fourwheelparts.com get any of these accessories. All right, sweet. Well, again, thank you so much. For all of you that are watching, thank you. We appreciate it. Make sure you stay tuned for more Bronco content and subscribe to stay up to date on everything that we have to offer.